and on the way from Espalion to Toulouse is the wonderful city of Albi, a lovely cathedral again, beautiful streets and beautiful parks. Although there may be wonderful similarities in the wonderful medieval architecture, we find that each little village out in the country is very, very different. This one at Nejac has the wonderful castle on top of a hill, the wide, winding streets and quaint shops that look down across the valley. It's not hard to imagine the medieval knights in armour and their horses parading into these castles.
On the way up to the Cantal is this beautiful trout lake, stocked full of lovely brown trout. You can pay just a few euros to go and fish this for the day and uh, catch all you want. Every year, the French hold a weekend celebration called La Jure de Patrimoine, the day of the marriage. In this case, we celebrate this at the chapel, and we open the chapel for the public for the day. I played my music there that day as well. Now let's go past that brown trout lake up to the Obrac and take a closer look. The Obrac is famous for its cheese and the dairy herds. This is where the Aligo comes from. Spring and early summer are possibly the best times to visit the Obrac because it's at this time that the indigenous flowers, the Narcissi and the wild daffodils there are growing profusely, carpeting the area in this yellow.
use our concrete crocodile before we put it into the water. As I say, it, it gave a scare to quite a few fishermen and youngsters coming down to see it. I would joke and say, Voila, il y a crocodile sur la lac ici. And some of our more unusual visitors to the garden, snakes and hedgehogs.
it's time for the TL. The lime trees here are the flowers at this time of year. This is uh, just at the end of June. And uh, these flowers have little green petal leaves beside them. And it makes a wonderful tea. You have to pick all these off and dry them. And they make a lovely infusion, a very good tea. It's supposed to be very, very good for you. It's very delicate. So we have to get baskets full of this now. And now you see things in my final year there. I had them just as I wanted them. The grapes are growing beautifully, all the gardens are established, even the rose art and everything else. My own family came to visit. Here we have my sister and her sons. My mother, bless her, before she died. She managed to make to see Le Paradou and visit France before this.
Good one. Okay, Liz, you want to have your first go at wood carving, so let's show you a nice simple way. Here we have a burr, and that's a knot from the outside of a tree. And the beauty of these burrs is that they have a wonderful grain inside, all twisty and curly. And that way, going downward if you want to go deeper, and lifted if you want to go sharp. We start you your right handed. Yes. So that goes in your left hand with your hand over the top, like this. And this goes in your right hand, so I'll come round that side that way. Easy as that, well done. Fantastic. Okay. Exciting. Right. Just make a nice even coat all over it. It's lovely, it's like spreading treacle. And you're watching all the colours come out. It's really exciting. You're following the, the contours around and seeing the, the flow of the wood. This is a fish that will live with me for a long time. It's been such an exciting experience. It's feeling the wood, digging into it, pulling the lines out feeling the contours coming through. It was interesting, it had spines, it had legs, it had all sorts of angles on it. Really interesting. What we're going to do today is the photograph that you've chosen, that's this yes. one. Rather nice morning scene here at the Power Do. And we're going to try it as a watercolour. We've done it as an oil already, I'll show you that now. With everything set out here, we've got our pans of watercolour. We're going to need a clay shaper, this little one here, for doing some resist work because we're going to put some masking fluid on for these little light twigs, little ones in the background here for these birch trees. And that gives you that nice blue masking fluid <clears throat> to be rubbed off later to give the white lines. So, uh, we're going to now do a wash and it's going to be a, a variegated wash. A graduated wash is from one colour to another. <clears throat> a variegated is changing the colours as we go. Just touch to see how far it's going to go. We don't be going too far. And we'll just get the feeling of these trees here. And I'm painting in between. I'm painting the dark areas, leaving the light areas. But we're leaving the lights behind. We're painting the darks in between. And it's just... Sort of the feel for how to use the brush. Yes, Isn't the medium it? and the brush. How yeah, to use the colour. brush. Mm. The and what the medium will do, how wet it has to be. How wet it has to how be. How far it will spread. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, yes. we're almost done there. We've got the, the basic wet yeah. into wets in. Yeah. We've got our atmosphere, our lights yeah. and darks. We can let that dry now. Yeah. And we'll come back afterwards, having yes. had some nice French lunch. And um, we'll paint in the details, the darker, harder lines, the wet on top of the dry afterwards. We're finishing okay. off with the last details of wet onto dry. Did you enjoy that? I enjoyed it very much. It's your first ever watercolour and you're pleased with that, aren't you? Very pleased Isn't with that. Isn't it a lovely little piece of work? Thank you. Absolutely smashing. Well done. Yeah. That was great. It's the first time I've done anything like this and you demonstrated how to wet the paper so it was just wet onto wet and it was just a way of experimenting, trying something out and seeing what happens already. We're using acrylic inks. Using acrylic inks. And this is after we've done a demonstration doing a watercolour outside wet yeah. into wet, isn't it? Yeah. So possibly later, if you get time, you're going to go back to the watercolour and be as loose as this yeah. outside with the watercolour as you have with these, yeah? But it's a lovely, enjoyable way of working, isn't it? And also, yeah, it is a nice, enjoyable way of working. And of course, you never know quite what's going to happen. Yeah. So whatever happens, happens, and then you build on it, and it's a bit of a risk. And what happens but it's, it's fun. Whatever has happened is good fun, yeah. Paul, so you're going to go onto the lathe, we've got a nice piece of oak here which I've drawn a circle on and first we've got to get this as round as we can before going on the machine. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is use the machine planer to round, to shape down to these uh, circles to get it as round as possible first. So, so just 
basically be very careful with your hand and keep turning the wood around until this is absolutely a tube um, or a nice round shape and then we'll be able to put it on the lathe when I get back later on. I enjoyed making my painting. You can curve for our tea pot. Now I want to come a little bit higher on this neck, a little bit straighter on the side of the body. And you could say that's it. Take this, Wayne caught a silly the other day and I've got to catch up with him so we're one all now. His is bigger than mine but uh, we've got a few days left. The first pike, I'm quite proud of it. Silly at Le Paradou. Um, the one before was £12.5, this one is 13 so getting better. Um, very impressive fight actually, he was fighting pretty much all the way. Um, yeah, and just hopefully you can catch a few more, get some more um, bit. No, not for it. Abby, I'll be at the rabbit. Okay. Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> okay, uh, Matinos, you peinture the petit chapelle ici, and the montagne avec acrylique. Après, avec le pastel et le mélange d'acryl. Mm -hmm. So today we paint a little demonstration for a 10-minute film 
one in uh, watercolour and the next in pastel. Yeah, slightly, then go fresh again. You see the difference? When I rub it, it goes dull. When I put new colour, I powers it weak. Watercolour. And I'm going to paint just in the centre here, the same scene. Now we let that dry and then we'll try a little pastel. And so we come towards the end of my time at the Paradou. Everything now completed to as I like it, and I've got to make a move and leave it all.